Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to DIYs, guys. My name is Cole, and today we're gonna to be working on a Samsung washing machine that won't agitate or spin. So let's do it together, save some money. All right, so I just started the washing machine, and now we're gonna see that it's not agitating. There it is. You can see it trying to agitate, but it can't. So what we're gonna do is check out the rotor position sensor on the rear and see what's going on with that. So now we want to get access to the rotor position sensor. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we disconnect the power cord and come to the back panel here and remove these two Phillip head screws, one here and one here. Now that we have the two screws removed, we're just going to lift up on the panel straight up and it should come right up. Now that gives us access to our rotor and our stator. The next thing we want to do is disconnect these two wire harnesses, one here, one here. Now that we have both wire harnesses removed, the next thing we're going to do is remove this 19 millimeter bolt right here on the rotor. Now I'm going to be using this power drill to make it easy. All right, now that it's removed, what we're going to do is remove the rotor. We're going to pull this straight towards us and it's going to slide off exposing the stator. All right, this is the rotor we just removed, now this is the stator. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove these six 10 millimeter bolts right here around it and remove the stator itself. Now remember, be careful once you take your last one out so it doesn't fall. You grab it and it'll come right to you. All right, now that we have the stator removed, what we're gonna do is flip it over. And it's gonna give us access to our rotor position sensor, which is right here. So the next thing we're gonna do is remove these two Phillips head screws here and pop the sensor off. All right, now that we have our two Phillips head screws removed, we're gonna come around to the other side. And we're gonna lift up on these two tabs here, one here and one here, and then pop it off, pop the sensor off. All right, now our sensor is removed. This is our old one, this is our new one. And what we want to do is make sure that we get these three prongs on the bottom here lined up with these three right here and snap it back on. Now we have the new sensor installed and we're going to put our two Phillips head screws back in. All right, so we're now back at the washing machine. And what we want to do is line up these three dial holes right here with these three plastic ones. One, two, and three and that's how you know how to set it on in its proper location so we got the stator stuck back on we want to make sure that our position of our sensor is back over here by our wire and harnesses too that's how you know it's in the right location the next thing we're going to do is put these six 10 uh, millimeter bolts back in now that we got our six bolts started we're going to go ahead and tighten them up Connect our two wire and harnesses right down here. Now that we got our two harnesses back installed, we're gonna put our rotor back on. It's gonna just slide over the shaft like so. Just give it a little. And now we're gonna add in our 19 millimeter bolt right to the middle. All right. Now we've got our 19 millimeter bolt in. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. Now we can add our access panel back on. Get it to where these two tabs on the top. Here. These two slide up into these two slots. And the bottom ones slide into their slots as well. Here and here. All right, now we've got our back panel installed. Let's go ahead and tighten up our two Phillips head screws. One there. Now the job is complete, let's plug it up and see how it works. Okay, so I just started the washing machine. Now let's see if we can get it to work. There it is, now you can see it's agitating and we fixed our issue. All right, that concludes our video for today. I hope you liked the video, hope you learned something. And remember, be a wise guy like me, do it yourself and save some money. I'll see you in the next one.